All right, what's up? Welcome to Lipbox TV. I'm Lord Akim, and today we're going to talk about what I call the great exaggerate. But before we get into that, just want to play y'all a few seconds of this uh, Say Less. Shout out to everybody who's been messaging me um, ever since I saw him first played uh, Say Less and asking me for the record. Finally, uh, mix and mastered the record. Um, I'm just registering it now, doing all the stuff, and I'm about to put it out, so, um, yeah, just check it out real quick, just, you know, we're gonna check out all the habits, the happenings and not mastering my mathematics, you heard what happened to homie, yeah, well, that's tragic, eight out of ten of us savages, yeah, that's average, the aftermath, man, drastic, I really can't wait to let this go, cause it's just a good but yeah, let's get into it right now. Let's let it! Oh yeah, we lit, lit box. When I'm turned up, it go down. You know how I get, you know how I get. You know I'm legit, you know I'm legit. You know I be lit, you know I be lit. And I'm on a mission to hit every city. When you see me get with me, it's lit. Lit box TV. It's lit. The great exaggerate. What's the great exaggerate? Let's talk about it. And tell y'all what I mean. We're gonna learn some things today about ourselves. You know, we're going to learn. Okay. There was a time in history called the Great Depression, right? And it was just like this time where so many countries was doing bad, right? So the Great Depression was a severe worldwide economic depression that took place mostly during the 1930s, beginning in the United States. The timing of the Great Depression varied across the world. In most countries, it started in 1929 and lasted until the late 1930s. It was the longest, deepest, and most widespread depression of the 20th century. The Great Depression is commonly used as an example of how intensely the global economic can decline. Okay, so the, the, the you know, many countries and pretty much the world was just at a, in a Great Depression. This was a time where Financially, it was just bad for so many people. And it says the Great Depression had devastating effects in both rich and poor communities. So both rich and poor people was tremendous, tremendously affected by the Great Depression. Personal income, tax revenue, profits, and prices dropped, while international trade fell by more than 50%. Unemployment in the U.S. rose to 23% and in some countries rose as high as 33%. Okay, now I just wanted to point this out first to show you this was the, the, you know, the Great Depression. Okay, that was a time when a lot of people was losing money, a lot of people was doing bad, and like financially, uh, you know, and worldwide, it was like a worldwide situation. Okay, which leads me to the great exaggerate. What do I mean when I say the great exaggerate? Like the Great Depression was a time. Right now, we're living in a time that I call the great exaggerate. Because everything right now is being exaggerated on a worldwide scale. It's not just America. And it's not just uh, several small countries it's like a worldwide exaggeration going on okay now exaggerate what does the word exaggerate mean it means to represent it's a verb it's an action word okay it means to represent something as being larger better or worse than it really is okay i need y'all to remember that as we go forward exaggerate means to represent as being larger, better, or worse than it really is. Are we becoming a society of over-elaborators? I believe we are. I'll give you a few examples. And, and before I start, let me tell you, it's one thing to believe in yourself, okay? Everybody who know me know I believe in myself. And I try to encourage everybody to believe in themselves. So this is not an attempt to stop anybody from trying to believe in themselves. Okay, there's a difference between believing in yourself and exaggerating about yourself. Okay, this is what this is about. Okay, because people people do it on their resumes. They exaggerate. Anybody who ever put together a resume, you know, 
you've exaggerated on your resume. You pretended like, you know, you had more duties than you had and more responsibilities and you might have fluffed up your title or something like that. But it's all good. I ain't nobody holding that against you. Um, like you might go to the mechanic. Like how many times you've been to a mechanic? And you get there and they see the check engine light and the first thing they do is they start exaggerating the problems of your car. And you know that if you went to a few other spots, you know, and I'm not trying to throw all mechanics under the bus because shout out to my mechanics, uh, Bobo and Alex on the Bruckner. You know what I'm saying? Them dudes, is, they keep it 100. There's times I went there and they could have got over on me and they just really kept it 100. So not all mechanics are going to exaggerate, but most of them do. Okay, most of them do. The schools, the schools exaggerate about your child's learning ability. Why do they do that? Why would a school exaggerate about your child's learning deficiency? Because they get paid to do that. Okay, that's how it, it's like they get more money to put your kid in special ed. So if we don't exaggerate about your kid's learning abilities, then how will we get them in special ed? Right. So that's being exaggerated. Right. Your health. You go to the doctor. You got doctors that'll tell you that you're not as sick as you really are just because you don't got the right medical coverage to cover certain things. Or then you got other doctors that'll act like your condition is worse than it really is or like they're doing more for you just to, to uh, overcharge your insurance. So they'll exaggerate your condition, you know, just, just for the sake of... Uh, Denying you services or or acting like they gave you uh, more than what they really gave you. If your medical insurance is A1, you can bet that the doctors are going to try to do something and exa to exaggerate the care they gave you. That's my point, right? The police. The police will run up and, 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 and exaggerate a situation. They'll add more charges. And they'll make it something worse than it 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 it, it, it is, or, or the, the you know the district attorney or, or or trump up some charges or exaggerate the severity of a situation just so she could try to get a conviction or add more charges just so she could get you to uh, cop out later when she reduced some of the charges. So they exaggerate, right? Right? You got these poverty pimps, you know exaggerating their roles in urban communities they, they exaggerate they'll act like they're doing things that they're really not doing okay so that's another that's another example okay um makeup when i was growing up all a female had to do to look nice was throw her hair back do her little baby hairs Throw some little lip gloss on, some 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 shine or something on her lips, and the and the most some little on under her eye, and she, you couldn't tell her nothing. You couldn't tell her nothing. She just knew she was beautiful, and most of them didn't even do the eyeliner. They just put some grease on their lips, throw their hair back, and get their little baby hairs popping. Get their little face together, and you couldn't tell them nothing. Now, forget it. They, they take this makeup and they just exaggerate. They turn into a whole nother person with this makeup. You know, same thing like with, 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 with trannies. Tran a tranny to me is an exaggerated woman. Most of them act like more of a woman than any woman ever act like a woman. And, you know, because art imitates life and life imitates art, you got these women imitating this exaggerated version of a woman and then what you get is a real woman that's now exaggerated you get you get what i'm saying like so now it, it, it's, it's like her actual present day capabilities are being exaggerated like even even uh it's not about potential or what you're willing to do it's about who you are right now in real life. That's what I mean. So it, it, it's like, I'm not saying that you can't be this or you won't be that one day, but most people exaggerate. Most women exaggerate about where they are presently and in real time right now, like what they're about and, and their capabilities and what they're even willing to do in a relationship. Okay. And dudes out here, they, they exaggerating, they exaggerating too. 
Don't 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 get it twisted. These dudes out here in cars they can't afford. You understand? They in, they in clubs and and exaggerating like they 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 about their business. They exaggerating like they they got more money than they really got. They exaggerate about a whole bunch of things. Dudes out here in cars they can't afford spending money. You know, you could use to build a business on things that make you look like you're handling your business. Like that's what dudes really out here doing. They're spending money they could use to build the business just to run around looking like they're handling their business. That just makes no sense to me. This is just because we're living in a great exaggerate, okay? So now, you know, speaking of cars, right? And these dudes, how they perpetrate and get these cars and, and exaggerate like they're, they're doing this and that, right? Speaking of cars, if you get into a car accident, most people that get into a car accident, what do they do? They exaggerate their injuries, right? They exaggerate. Oh, man, I can't move. I can't do this. They exaggerate, right? And then the pain management place you go to, what do they, what do, they do? They exaggerate the care that they give you, right? And then the lawyer, what does he do to the insurance company? He exaggerates the claim. And then the people, the, the, the body shop that's fixing your car, what do they do? They exaggerate the damage of your car, right? And then the insurance company that you're actually insured by exaggerated when they told you that they was gonna save you 15% in 15 minutes. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like we living in this great time of exaggeration, you know? Uh, the, like they exaggerated the COVID results. There's places where a lot of people die where they're trying to make it seem like not too many people died, okay? And then there's places where not too many people died where they're trying to make it seem like a lot of people died. You understand? And and that's kind of like the, the, the Cuomo, what's going on with Cuomo and the, uh, the nursing home situation. Okay, he's exaggerating. He's exaggerating by acting like what he did didn't cause a lot of death. And again, exaggerating is not just making something more than what it is. It's also making something less than what it is. Okay, represents as being larger, better or worse than it really is. So he exaggerated like the, the, the situation was better than it really was when that wasn't the case. You understand? So we living in a time of great exaggeration and, and you need to understand that to understand how to move forward. It's like you ever been with someone that talk a good sex game that exaggerated about their sex game. And then you, you, you know, you get with them and it's like, well, what's this? You know, and then you got, see, then you got people who don't, who don't really advertise and talk, but really deliver the goods. And that's a form of exaggeration too. Okay. And, and, and I used to do that. It's kind of like, there's some people call it dumbing yourself down. You know, where you where you have these abilities and you got these capabilities, but you you play like let me give you an example of someone uh, downplaying their talent and exaggerating, which is a is a modest thing. But let me just give you an example of it. Like that video I posted up with uh, uh, Hassan and my son. Right. There's a section in there where I asked my son, are you going? In, oh, so you going in there to record some record some music? And he go, yeah, I said, oh, I can't wait to hear that. I know it's going to be fire. And he go, uh, you know, I just, I'm just doing what I do. That was an exaggeration, okay? Because my son is dead nice, okay? But he just pretended like, yeah, I'm all right. Like, I, 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 I stand on the truth. I'm, I'm never going to front on anybody that, that don't deserve to be fronted on. You understand? My son is a phenomenal rapper, okay? Let, let me be all the way clear with that. He ain't fucking with me, but he's nice. You know, <laughs> like, I'm going to give him that. You know what I'm saying? He's nice. So, but that was a situation where he exaggerated. So sometimes you can be great at something and, and you kind of exaggerate. And, 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 and that's kind of, like, that's cool when people know. Like, I know my son is nice, so that was cool. Like, but if somebody didn't know, then nah, that's, that's, that wouldn't be cool because we... Like, you don't need to exaggerate, but you definitely need to let people know your capabilities. Like, and that's, I, I don't think a lot of 
talented people do that. It be a bunch of people with no damn talent talking about, oh, I'm nice, I'm nice. And then you got the people with the real talent that be like, oh, I'm all right, I'm all right. You, you understand what I'm saying? So it's kind of like you you can't be afraid to just to just be yourself and not get caught up in this exaggerated society we live in. You understand? So don't get caught up in making yourself more than what you really are, but definitely don't get caught up in making yourself less than who you really are. Like people need to see and know your capabilities. It's not about showing off or throwing it in, in, in someone's face, but you know, we should know each other's true capabilities because you know, people who uh, you know, understand each other and, and are in agreement with each other tend to move better. You understand? So if I agree with who you are and you agree with who I am, and it's not exaggerated, and I'm not downplaying it, or I'm not making it more than what it is, then we stand a better chance of actually accomplishing some real things. L listen, this is gonna be a short video because I just wanted y'all to understand like the times we are in. Like we are in, like I said, what I call a great exaggerate. Everything is being exaggerated. You know, like the 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 relationships between black and white people is being exaggerated. All this stuff that's going on with these these Asian people, a lot of stuff is being exaggerated. There's people that benefit off of exaggerating these situations and blowing them out of proportion and making them into something they're really not. You understand? There's people that benefit a lot off of exaggerating the the problem with the police in the black community. You understand? They'll take one little situation and use that as a opportunity to exaggerate the whole plight of the the uh, uh, or the whole uh, situation between urban communities and the police when that's not really the case. Or they'll take a situation between a white person and a black person and exaggerate it and make it more than what it really is. And so you you know if you got a pure heart and you're good then you you don't exaggerate because you know exaggeration is is pretending and you're being pretentious and when you're pretending you're denying someone the real you you understand and and it's like i got a saying it's like who are you that i have to lie to myself about who i am just to be around you you understand what I'm saying? Like, who are you? Like, I really got to lie to you about who I am just to be around you? Like, this is what we're becoming. A society of people that that's exaggerating just for monetary purpose and monetary gain. And, like, what happens when all this is exaggeration, you know, is exposed? Like, when, when you're called on to, to, to do what you're exaggerating about, you know? Or, you, you know, um, what's the sense of, of pretending like you don't have certain skills that may be needed? Or pretending you don't know how to do something that someone may need your help with. So, you know, that's another form of exaggeration. You know, we have to just start really being real with each other. Like real. Let me give you an example. I'm try I was helping somebody fix their credit. Right? And... Because I was helping them fix their credit because they, they had to have a certain credit score in order to apply for the SBA loan. So I was helping them fix their credit and I asked them certain questions about their credit. And they exaggerated. Okay? They made their credit seem better than it really was. And all that did was cost them the loan. They didn't get the loan. When if they would have just kept it real with me and we could have dealt with the situation for what it really was as opposed to what we thought it was because it was exaggerated. So now I'm, I'm addressing this exaggerated situation and I'm not really addressing the real situation. Okay, so come to find out, she exaggerated, it didn't, it, it, and, and, and she didn't get the loan because we never did what we were supposed to do because the situation was exaggerated. So that's my point. You know, when you exaggerate, you, 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 you may cost yourself something. You may, it may be instant gratification, but when you're called on to do that 
what you've been exaggerating about, you better be prepared to do it. You better be prepared to do it. So if you, you acting like you out here doing something, okay, then if I call you out on it and you can't prove it, then that means you're exaggerating. Because if you're not exaggerating, it's, it's easy to prove. It's easy to prove something that's not exaggerated. This, this is what it is. Here it is, right here. But if I downplay something or made it more than what it is, when it comes time to show, show it, I can't really show it because it's gonna be less or more than what I said it was, okay? And this is what we're living with right now. So many people are on social media exaggerating. Like even the, the Me Too movement, we got a lot of these women exaggerating sexual advances for monetary gain. This is the, the time we're living in. You know, this is the cancel, the, the what they say, they call it, the cancel culture, okay? Well, they'll just cancel you just because, you know? And they'll, you'll say something and, and they'll exaggerate and act like they were uh, uh, so offended by it and so bothered by it. Meanwhile, they don't care. They're just using it as an opportunity to, to pretend to be uh, bothered by it and exaggerates for monetary gain, to, to, to get money from somewhere else or for some type of financial benefit or some type of, uh, it's like and now you even got these politicians right you got these politicians they'll exaggerate like even to me 9-11 was a great exaggerate it, they exaggerated okay it's, it was just a great exaggerate when you really look into it they exaggerated this is what these people do Okay, so they're gonna get on and, and, and it's like when they when they when they trying to take you down and destroy you, they're gonna exaggerate. They're gonna make you seem worse than you are and them seem better than they are. And that's the world we live in. Like, that's what's going on right now. You know, you got this country exaggerating about that country, you know, these people exaggerating about those people, this this gender exaggerating about that gender. You know, we all just seem either making ourselves worse than we really are or better than we really are, you know? And where's where's the balance? Where's the people who's treating people for what they really are? Like, you know, just treating people for who they really are, you know? And and that's what we, we, we need to get to, not the exaggerated versions of people. You know, because when something sees, when something is great, and that's why I say it's the great exaggerate, because they're exaggerating greatness. You know, they either downplaying it or or, or 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 hyping it up too much. Okay, so that's why I call it the great exaggerate because they're pretending to be great, and great, but see, great doesn't pretend. Great doesn't have to pretend. Good has to pretend to be great. But great is just great. So when you're great, you don't really have to hype yourself up or downplay yourself. You just have to be yourself. Just be great. Okay? And everything will work out. Like me, I don't chase money. You know, me, I chase the bag. I, I don't chase the bag. I'm sorry. I don't chase money. Okay? I chase greatness. Because with greatness comes money. Period. I know if I do something great, there's going to be some money connected to that. So I don't have to chase money. I just know if I'm, if, if, if you make beats, don't make beats for money. Make beats to be great. Just be great. And you don't have to hype yourself up or downplay yourself. Just be great. I don't care what you do. You braid hair. You do makeup. Anything you do, you fix car. All you have to do is focus on being great at it. Better than the average person at it. And the money will come. You do not have to exaggerate. You don't. You really don't. Once people stop exaggerating, especially in like the hood, like because that's all we do. We exaggerate. We act like we got more money than we got. We act like we don't care that we just spent this money. We act like this don't matter. We act like we don't care about nobody's feelings. We exaggerate. And meanwhile, we in the house hurting. Our feelings are hurt. Meanwhile, we pop. We broke. We don't know where our next dollar coming from, but we just sitting around exaggerating for each other. For what? There's no, there's no real purpose in that. Like, 
There's no real benefits that's going to come out of that. You understand? Like, now, it's one thing to be in a situation where your life may be, be in danger and you're scared to death. You know, so you have to pretend like you're not afraid. Like, that's a whole different ball game. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I've been in situations where people came at me and I was scared to death. But at that moment, I had to pretend like I wasn't afraid. So I guess I kind of wasn't afraid because to pretend you kind of not afraid and really be, I don't know. It's just, it was crazy though, but I was nervous, but they couldn't tell. You understand what I'm saying? So that's a different ball game. You know, the the, the, the bear jump out the forest, you know, you scared to death, but you might want to go, ah, get out of here, bear. Ah, you might exaggerate like you ready to take on the bear, but you really know you damn well not trying to take on that bear. You understand? So in those type of situations, yes, I can see where it's okay to exaggerate. Okay? But it's like pretending. Like I, I'm I'm uh, starting an organization, right? And and I and I started writing the rules and the, the laws for you know being a part of my organization, which is not a lot of it's not a lot of laws and rules, but one of the main ones is there's no pretending. Absolutely no pretending unless you're playing with children. You understand what I'm saying? A grown man, a grown woman has no business out here pretending. Like, what are the benefits of that? Like, what are the real benefits of that? You understand? Like, okay, like, you know, you might go to a strip club and, and the stripper exaggerates about liking you. <laughs> You understand what I'm saying? But you should know when you go in there that that's part of that business. You understand that you're going into an exaggerated environment. Okay? So expect a, a, a great amount of exaggeration. You understand? But like on a personal level, I'm talking more so on a personal level, what is this purpose of exaggerating? What are the benefits of exaggerating on a personal level there's no there's no reason like i already showed you how so many people are exaggerating for monetary gain okay i'm not going to do it i can see why some people do it some people got to reach their bottom line i'm just i'm just not really into exaggerating okay and pretending i don't like pretentious people you understand so but on a personal level like why would you what is the purpose of exaggerating what is the purpose of acting like you're a better woman than you really are? When, a, when I just might call you to be that better woman. Call on you. I might call on you. What is the sense of me acting like I'm a man that's, that's really ready to settle down and do all of this when you might call on me to do that? So why exaggerate like I'm, I'm this type of man that I'm not? Why do that on a personal level? You understand what I'm saying? Like, that's how so many... That's why so many people are out here are lost because when you started running around exaggerating and you exaggerating to this one so you know you're dealing with this girl and she's smart and you a dummy so you got when you're around her you got to exaggerate and act like you smart okay and then this one she's a little blood at and she only like little gangster boys so when you're around her you got to exaggerate your gangster and act even more gangster but this one she's super civilized come from a decent background so when you're around her you got to fold your hands and 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 say you know and you start exaggerating all over the place and pretending and next thing you know you lost you don't even know who you are anymore because you're just running around pretending to everybody like you're something you're not and then you'll be like, wake up one day like, God damn it, who am I? Who am I? Because, and you look at the women you're dealing with and you'll be like, well, damn, this woman, she got a good head on her shoulders. She's nice, but this one is a bozo, ain't got nothing going on for herself. And this one is this, and then you next thing you know, you're dealing with so many different people. That's why I tell my son, like, nah, you're not going to be bringing a bunch of chicks around here. You're not going to do that. You're not going to be pretending and, and exaggerating. Nah, we're not doing that. Because then you're going to lose yourself. Like I lost myself years ago playing with a bunch of women. I'm telling you, that's, 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 that's a game for fools. I don't play that game anymore. Okay? That exaggerated, oh, I'm going to do this and we're going to do it. Nah, I don't play that stupid game anymore. Okay? Because it's, 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 it's not healthy. It's not good for your mental. It's not good for your spirit. It's not good for your soul. It's just... 
it's just not good for you in any type of way so i hope y'all got something out of this video and and just and just understand the importance of being true to yourself and when you true to yourself because that's what this video is really about just being true to yourself and when you true to yourself you don't have to exaggerate you don't have to make yourself more than who you are and you don't have to downplay yourself for other people just be you and just be great because with greatness comes money and there's no need to be a part of the great exaggerate peace it's oh yeah we lit lit box when i'm turned up it go down you know how i get you know how i get you know i'm legit you know i'm legit you know i be lit you know i be lit and i'm on a mission to hit every city when you see me get with me it's lit lit box tv it's lit